Computing statistics over time, such as averages, average deltas, minimums, and maximums are important methods in CFD to understand trends in turbulent flow fields. In this video, we will demonstrate PyTechPlot Python scripts that can be used to calculate these quantities. We will start by computing the time average of the vortex shedding example, a 2D transient dataset found in the TechPlot360 installation directory in the examples folder. The data has a common grid throughout time, so we could use the specify equations dialog to manually compute the average, but this will quickly become tedious. Instead, we can utilize the time average Python script, which will create a new zone with time averaged quantities automatically. This script is located on github.com slash techplot, but in order to take advantage of the script, we need to take care of a few prerequisites. First, we need a 64-bit version of Python 3 installed which is downloadable from python.org slash downloads. Next, we will need to install PyTechPlot. Installation instructions are available on our website. It should be as easy as typing python-m pip install PyTechPlot in a command line. If you don't have administrator privileges, you may need to include the dash dash user flag. If you do not have our GitHub Python scripts cloned locally, Click the raw button in the GitHub script to easily select all of the code and copy it. Then paste the contents in a blank text file and save it as a Python script with the file extension .py. Make sure to also save tpmath and tputils in the same location as the Python script because they are used in the script and required for it to run. Once these prerequisites are fulfilled, to run the script in connected mode, Launch TechPlot360, load the dataset. From the scripting dropdown menu, select PyTechPlot Connections and toggle on Accept Connections. This allows the Python script to connect to the currently active session of TechPlot360. Next, open a command line, navigate to the directory where the Python script is saved, and run the script by entering python timeaverage.py. We will then be prompted for which time strand we want to average. Enter 1 and press Enter to continue running the script. The time strand number can be found in the dataset information dialog and is simply an integer which identifies a collection of zones through time. The script will now handle the zone duplication and execution of the formulas to average the results. When the script is finished, toggle off the original zones and toggle on the newly created time average zone to view the results. Sometimes it might be useful to study the divergence from the time average at each time step. If you want to create delta variables from time averaged variable quantities per time step, that can be performed using the time delta versus time average Python script, also available on our GitHub. You can save the script locally using the same steps shown previously. Then run the script from a command line by entering python time delta versus time average dot pi. This will create new delta variables for the dataset. After the script has completed, update the contour to one of the new variables of interest. Change the color map to a diverging color map to better visualize the time averaged delta, and also verify that the contour levels are symmetrical. Creating min and max plots is also possible using the timestats Python script, which is also available on our GitHub. This script will capture the minimum and maximum value through time at each point of a constant mesh. The result will be two new static zones, one with all of the minimum values of the mesh from all time steps, and another zone with all of the maximum values of the mesh from all time steps. Notice that after running the script, the zone style shows both the minimum and maximum zones. Toggle on these zones individually to see the results. For all of these examples, we ran the scripts in connected mode to visualize our results in the TechPlot360 GUI. However, these scripts can also be modified to run in batch mode for improved performance. This concludes the tutorial on running PyTechPlot scripts for visualizing transient data statistics in TechPlot360. Thank you for watching.